Good evening, a happy Advent. Is that what you say? <laughs> and welcome to um, Virtual Church, the first in the season of Advent. A very warm welcome from your friends here at Beauty and Sound. I'm Richard McVeigh, and I'm sure before too long you'll have two feline friends joining you here on the organ bench. And of course, Caroline will hopefully join us later in the show. We've got lots of festivities going on around this organ. It just seems to have become very, very blingy around here. Stars, balls and cherries or berries, whatever they are. Santa, there's a Santa over there on the chair who's sort of hiding in the dark, actually. Are you, are you, there we go, give him a bit of light. Got a Christmas tree behind us. I do hope that you are all getting into the festive season. I've just like returned from Romsey Abbey where we were um, had our first sort of major Advent service. It was the From Darkness to Light service. Very effective it was, starting in pretty much near darkness and then the light shining through the Abbey getting brighter and brighter as the service goes on. Full Abbey, hundreds of people in there um, and then I'm now here playing the Romsey Abbey organ again in front of Again, and hundreds of people. It's quite surreal. I never quite get used to that. So tonight is all about live requests. It's all about live requests. Um, Michael, just turn the audio up. <laughs> I think it's fine. Um, so if you have any live requests, please do let us know, and uh, we will, by all means, get to them. I've got like a pile of hymn books here. The all important. 100 cows requires, so get requesting. I've had a few requests already from, uh, from my dad, <laughs> from Eileen, from Scott, uh, and from Bill as well. So thank you very much to you guys, and uh, thank you very much to Bill Ratey, who has gifted, how many gifts did you, gifted five memberships. Thank you very much, Bill, for doing that. Right, let's go into our second request, the live request tonight. It's from, I'll go in uh, to it, to the one from my dad, 230. 30, I think, in here. O come, O come, Emmanuel, redeem thy captive Israel. Um, and Dad, thank you very much for your £9.99. I do hope that your journey home yesterday was okay, not too wet, and that you've been enjoying the snow up in Derbyshire. We've had no snow down here in Hampshire, but it's very cold. And it has been very wet all day today, so yay for pretty rank weather. <laughs> o come, O come, Emmanuel.
So I let you into a little secret. You guys watching now are hearing version two of the Romsey Abbey sample set for the very first time. I'm using tonight's virtual shirt as a little bit of a beta test for it. So I hope you can hear some differences. You might not be able to, but I can hear differences already and I'm feeling very relieved that it's working very nicely. So if there are any glitches or audio issues, please do let them let us know in the chat and um, I will add it to the um, sort of the fix list. Brilliant. So two, um, uh, two wonderful hymns already. So let's now go into, uh, let's tone down the volume a little bit and let's go into common praise. And we're going to go into one from Eileen. Um, People look east, the time is near. Common praise number 35, if you have this hymn book to hand. People look east, the time is near of the crowning of the year. Because we are actually now, we, we, we could officially start Virtual Church by saying, Happy New Year, everybody. Because, of course, Advent in the church calendar, at least, is the, uh, the, the new year. So these are all new songs. New resolutions, new pastures, and new hymns. People look east, the time is near, of the crowning of the year. Make your house fair as you are able, trim the hearth, and set the table. Little um, jolly tune this, so let's keep it as a jolly registration. Maurice Coates says, fix the organist. I'm afraid, Maurice, beyond repair. over very quickly and I apologize for the for the ridiculous additional notes in the first verse I don't know my right hand left hand was in the wrong place on the keyboard and but I played the fact that the tune which is very unusual in it in a tune in a hymn book like this the main melody goes below the alto part so when we get here What the altos are doing, the cheeky little monkeys, is this. Let me, uh, let me give you a clear, clear, a clear sound. They're holding the A. Uh, that put me off a little bit. 
It's my excuse. Anyway, blame the altos. Always someone else's fault. Eileen, hope that was all right for you, my friend. Um, thank you for your donation. Right, let's go on. Let's look at my list over here on the left. Um, see if we've got anything a bit more, a bit more rousing. Have we got anything rousing? Vince Evans has um, come up with Come Down Long Expected Jesus. Yeah, that's a good one by, um, by Stainer, which actually was written um, for, of course, the oratorio, the crucifixion. So it actually comes, it has its uh, heritage in uh, Lent and Passion Tide, this tune. And rather, ironically, it's, it's sort of morphed into an Advent tune as well now. Uh, I assume you want this tune. It's, the, it's, called, it's called Cross of Jesus. And it's come thou long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free. From our fears and sins release us. Let us find our rest in thee. It's wonderful words by Charles Wesley. The alternative tune, of course, is um, Halton Holgate. Sorry. That's it. Which I think is a beautiful uh, tune as well. But Cross of Jesus will have that one. Unless, we, unless Vince corrects us as I'm playing it. And then we'll morph seamlessly into to the tune. But until then, I want to crack on with uh, Cross of Jesus. Two tunes there, and not necessarily in the same key, but near enough. So, first tune was Cross of Jesus by John Stainer, and the second tune, the other tune, was um, Halton Holgate by William Boyce. So that was Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. Okay, so thank you very much, Vince, for that. Um, just please do let me know who's in. Uh, tonight, tonight it's a bit more of an informal VC. I've had a very busy weekend, a very busy few days. So I've not really had a chance to prepare a script, as it were. Um, so it's all about the sort of the spontaneity, I think, tonight and live requests. So please do keep them coming. Uh, and please let me know who it is in. So give me, um, give me your best uh, plus one and your location, please, as I'm playing the next hymn. Um, brilliant. I'm going to have to get rid of that now. Uh, okay. Clear we're off. There we go. Okay, so let's go into... Ooh, Ben Wallace has come up with a good hymn. Ben, thank you very much. Ben Wallace has come up with an, the, one of the greatest, 
One of the greatest hymns for Advent. Where's my, um, oh, it's, it's on the music desk. It's Lo He Comes with Clouds Descending. And we'll have the final verse um, to an arrangement by David Wilcox. There's no choir here. Caroline's still upstairs. But I'll try my best to do both the choir and the organ part in verse four. Deeply wailing. And with what rapture. What words. What words in this here. They're wonderful, aren't they? Okay, let's start it fairly quiet, guys, and then we'll... We'll work it up, because I think if we start it too loud, it then ends up being loud all the way through. So we'll start it on the quiet mutations. I'll engage the solo cornet as well, and then we'll um, see how the mood takes us. Okay, I can see the plus ones. Keep them coming in. Thank you very much. High Plains of Wex, Texas. Texas. I didn't realise there were any high plains in, in, in West Texas. <laughs>
thanks, Ben. Someone had to request Lohi comes with clouds ascending, didn't they? Um, and it happened to be Ben. Ben, um, yeah, one of the greatest Advent hymns, isn't it? Greatest Advent hymns. I think that would be, would, that would be a winner um, if we did a Carol Cup, which we might well do uh, in a smaller version in the coming weeks, by the way, guys. Um, so yeah, has anyone managed to knock off the cat from the tip jar yet? Not yet, I don't think so. Christmas tree is, it's a bit windy, isn't it, the Christmas tree? Um, and then we've got a cheeky Santa Claus who keeps popping his head out just to keep an eye on things because he likes to know who's behaving and learn who's not behaving for obvious reasons. He likes to keep a list, doesn't he? So Santa is keeping an eye on you. I've had a word of him. That's what I'm is keeping an eye on the chat to make sure you're behaving yourselves. <laughs> Cheers, Ben. Thank you for requesting uh, that one. Okay, so Valerie Fargo has requested Rejoice, Rejoice Believers, which is in the hymnal 1982. I've got that one to hand right here, um, and it's number 68. So let's have a look at number 68. There it is. Let's just like, quickly zoom up to the chat a little bit and, uh, and see who, where people are in the world. I'm just uh, name some uh, places. So S Switzerland, um, Sweden, uh, St Albans and here in, in England, Indiana, uh, Jacksonville, Indiana again, Alabama, Pennsylvania. Lots of people from America, so you are very welcome. Uh, Rotterdam with snow, apparently. Haywards Heath, good to have someone a bit more local. Um, County Cork in Ireland, welcome Eileen. Um, Nigeria, great to have you listening in from uh, Nigeria. Someone as far away from North, uh, as North London, Jonathan. Well, thank you very much for coming all the way down the, down the, uh, down the M3. Uh, well, so we're going to go Barbados, Chichester, the Scottish Highlands, uh, Germany, Texas. Yorkshire, oh, someone's in God's Own County, um, Massachusetts, or oh, all over the place, Lancashire, Minnesota, uh, Australia, Margaret, thank you for joining us, uh, Michigan, Scotland again, New Zealand, amazing, isn't it? Um, absolutely amazing where people are. Colorado, those are just some of them. Those are just some of them. Um, well, wow. We truly are a worldwide audience. Virginia, Ben's just said, um, Pittsburgh, Wales, that's so many countries I've just listed there. That's Uganda. Wow, I don't know. Uh, we should really count to see how many countries we've got. Okay, so um, I know when Songs of Praise goes out live, it doesn't broadcast to that many countries. So rejoice, rejoice, believers, and let your lights appear. The evening is advancing, the darker night is near, the bridegroom is arising, and soon. He will draw nigh, up, watch in expectation, at midnight comes the cry. And this um, came in from Valerie, where are you Valerie? Uh, I can't find your name now, or oh, somewhere, anyway, Valerie Fargo requested this one. So, great, thank you very much, everyone who's been sponsoring him. So if you sponsor him, it makes it much easier for me to see because it highlights it in either orange, yellow, um, or, you know, whatever, however, whatever colour it does, depending on how much you give. So the more generous you are, I think the brighter the colour. I think the red is the, um, red is the ultimate one. So if we have any reds tonight, I'll be very grateful. I might tell you a secret in a minute. No, 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 we'll see. Anyway, let's go into let's go into three verses of this this
Rejoice, rejoice, believers, and let your lights appear. As requested live tonight by um, Valerie Fargo. So thank you very much, Valerie. Scott Flanagan is going to be up next, um, which takes us into the Evangelical Lutheran Worship hymn book, which fortunately I have in my pile as well. And he's requested. Ah. Oh, there we go. So he requested um, number 261 in here. Um, and it is. As the dark awaits the dawn, so we await your light. O star of promise, scatter night, loving bright, loving bright, till shades of fear are gone. Just like that. Um, this one looks like quite a, a gentle one, actually, I think. Looks like it. This one doesn't look like uh, we need to engage all the armory. So let's um, keep it, keep it down. Let's have that and that along with that. And those two things over there. Okay. And let's go to that angle. Give me a one of those if you knew that one, because that was new to me. It's an Advent hymn, definitely, but it's new to me. So thank you very much, uh, Scott, for sending in your sponsored request tonight for that one. Daniel Kubaki. Let's have one from Daniel. Daniel is a, a channel member, and he has been according to his emoji, for four months, I think four equals 
four months. It might not. It might be longer than four months. He's a member of the Vidor group, which is one of the higher ones, actually. So thank you very much, Daniel. And he's requested, come that, uh, come we that love the Lord, which is in the 1982. It's number 392. So let's have a look at that one. These are some nice, diverse um, Advent hymns, not just the usual ones. But make sure you sponsor the usual ones. We need to have the usual ones as well. Because VC wouldn't be VC without the usual stuff on VC. Um, so, Danny, come we that love the Lord and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord and thus surround the throne. Hosanna, Hosanna, rejoice, give thanks and sing. The words are by Isaac Watts, the famous writer of hymns. The music is called Vineyard Haven. A vineyard, a vineyard would be a haven, absolutely. Um, and it's by Richard Dirksen, born I assume he's, yes, well, he might still be alive, but he was born in 1921. And it's a tune, well, I don't know, it might not be unknown, but I think I suspect people here in, in the same island as where I am, in these shores, it probably will be unknown. So this will be an interesting little test. People in America or people anywhere in the world, if you know it, Give me one of those, all right? And for the sake of those people who don't know it, what will I do? I will tell about the tune on the tuba, because why not? I think this one looks like quite a, quite a strong tune. There's quite a lot of accidentals in it, particularly in the um, refrain. So I need to have my wits about me for that. So let's have a look at this one.
want to go back up the chat just for a moment to see whether anyone gave me a thumbs up. Oh, Bill gave me a thumbs up. The only reason I'm asking for thumbs up was because I wanted to know whether people knew it because it didn't look like a familiar one. So according to the chat, I've only had one person who knows that one. That was a request from Daniel Kubaki, who requested that one earlier on. I've had a few more requests coming in via the super chat function. Isn't modern technology wonderful? Now I can now see that Michael, uh, Richard and John and Kathleen have all just recently requested. Eileen's requested another one. Thank you very much, Eileen. Um, and we have a, a comment here from Keith Bop, who says, let me, let me find it, let me find it. What a great way to spend a rainy afternoon in Connecticut while decorating the tree. What do you think to ours, Keith? Thanks, Richard. Perfect soundtrack. Well, Keith, you're very welcome. Um, you're very welcome, isn't you are welcome, and you are very welcome to the to the uh, to the stream. I have to say a thank you to um, who's this? Who's this? John Denning. Who? Uh, this is a new feature by YouTube. YouTube is telling me that John, this is your fifth donation on um, our. It says on a on a live stream. So that might not be my live stream, so it might be a a live stream. Um, so thank you very much for your, your, your donation. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Richard Allegra, that's an interesting request. That's a very interesting request. Do you know what? I think I might have it. And I think I would like to play it because it is rather, it's rather juicy, isn't it? I think I might have it on the iPad. Let me have a quick look in the iPad. It's not in the hymnal, uh, but it might be elsewhere. Because um, I used to do it quite a lot with my various choirs that I've conducted. And it's a, it is a favourite of mine. Um, there it is. There it is. Yes. Right, so let's, let, oh yeah, this is stunning. Let's play this. So guys, this is a, this is a piece, an advent piece for, uh, sorry, by the American composer Paul Manns. Paul Manns wrote a lot of organ music, a lot of choral music as well. Uh, and this one, I think it's fair to say, let me know if you agree with me, this particular little ditty is his most popular choral item. It's, it's called Even So Lord Jesus Quickly Come. And the text is, peace be to you and grace from him who freed us from our sins who loved us all and shed his blood that we might saved be. Sing holy, holy to our Lord, the Lord Almighty God, who was and is and is to come. Sing holy, holy Lord. Rejoice in heaven, all ye that dwell therein. Rejoice on earth, ye saints below. For Christ is coming, is coming soon. For Christ is coming soon. And the words repeat, even so, Lord Jesus, quickly come, which is a title, and night shall be, sorry, the music repeats the words, what did I say? I'm not sure. And night shall be no more. They need no light, nor lamp, nor sun, for Christ will be there all. Beautiful piece, this. It's not a hymn, so those people who don't know much about choral music might not know it, but it's very very beautiful and if, you, if you've been to a church service at Advent where a choir has been singing and leading the worship the chances are the choir may have sung this it's not an organ piece but I'll see what I can do um, on it uh, as an organ solo for you let's go for uh, this sort of sound I think to begin with Okay, so who, just remind me, Richard Allegra, thank you very much. A blessed advent to you too, Richard. And let's go here.
course, the best thing about doing it without a choir and doing it with the organ is it's those top B flats are always in tune because they're very hard. And why are they hard? Well, because they're high, yes, of course. There is it. That one particularly, so four, if, you, if you're a singer, the, the vowel, singing high on a closed vowel is very hard. Like four is easy, four, easier. For Christ, E is coming, E is hard, is coming. And then you have, is coming soon. E, it's like a squeak. E is coming soon. For Christ is coming soon. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, if that, was a, if that was a composition class, if it was a submission in a, com in a, in a composition tutorial, I think the composer, sorry, the, the uh, sort of the curator, the teacher, would probably just maybe put a circle around that and maybe write something uh, not wise to have a, an E vowel on a very high note, because it's very hard, it needs to be an open vowel. Anyway, enough about singing. Thank you very much, Richard, for uh, letting me reminisce about um, that piece, because I, I, I think it's wonderful. I think it's a wonderful piece. Is there much, people um, who know about these sorts of things, is there much more choral music by Paul Manns that I don't know about? If so, is there anything similar to that, that he wrote? Because I think that's, that's a real gem. Okay, let me just go back to my list now. Thank you, the requests are coming in. Thank you very much. Um, new ones from PGM Music and Mikey List, Mike List. And then another one from um, uh, Shorsh. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, Scorsh, um, thank you very much. And Michael as well. So let's go into a request from, where do we go? I'm going to go over to my producers for assistance here. Michael um, Mayo or Maya, lift up your heads, you mighty gates, which is in common praise, number 30. Let's go into that one. Can't think of what it is with half hand. Oh, okay, it's the wonderful tune called Wellington by Michael Fleming. Yes, I do know. It's not a, it's not a particularly well-known tune, but it's a beautiful tune. You'll, you'll like this one. I think it's a sort of a, it's a safe tune, but it's not, it's not in any H. I'll be interested to see whether it's in the revised English hymnal. Speaking of which, does anybody have a copy of that hymn book yet? I'm dying to get a copy, uh, uh, my hands on a copy. I'm hoping that, the, that they, they are going to be sent out this week. I need to know when they are being sent out for professional reasons. So if anyone knows when it's been sent out, please let me know in the chat now. Okay, so this one, this hymn I'm about to play is Lift up your heads, you mighty gates. Behold, the King of glory waits. The King of kings is drawing near. The Saviour of the world is here. Words by George Weissel. And the tune is called Wellington by Michael Fleming. Okay, let's go.
Gorgeous tune indeed. Ah, this is that Paul says the revised English hymnal is expected from the printers 5th or 6th December and will be posted out first class. I don't know whether that means, Gene, it's been received on the 5th or 6th or been sent out on the 5th or 6th. I do know people already have it, but there was a launch party last week in London, so people were able to buy it. Um, uh, so people do have it. So I hope they send it out very, very soon. Amazing. Right, let's crack on. We refer to my um... okay so Bill Brady has requested Saviour of the Nations come to the wonderful tune Nun Com de Heiden Highland um, in the ELW which is this one number 90 this might be a good opportunity for us to actually have a choral prelude on the same tune Hang on, why is my number 90 in ELW? My ELW starts at 100 and something. No, it doesn't. It, it does. It starts at, I don't know, 170. I, I think you've got, have you got the wrong hymn book there? Am I going to have to look in the um, hymnal? That's number two. I think it's in here. Find the, find the tune. Um, the tune names Nuncom, Nuncom, the wonderful German Lutheran uh, tune, Nuncom, number 54 in here. Let's have a look, let's have a look. There it is. Yeah, I'll tell you what we'll do guys. Let's see if I've got it on here. There's a wonderful chorale on this, well there were quite a few chorales that Bach wrote on this tune, but there's a, p a particularly big one uh, for an organo plano sound. So shall we do that straight after this? So we can, I'll introduce the tune to you, but then I will, um, I'll play this chorale by Bach, on, which is on, obviously on the same tune. Let's do that. Let's be, let's have a bit of fun. Cool. Let's put that. Let's put put it on a general. Yep. So here we go. So Bill Ratey has requested this uh, the 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 the, uh, the chorale here, the, the hymn, "Savior of the Nations, Come, Virgin's Son, Make Here Your Home." Marvel now, both heaven and earth, that the Lord chose such a birth. I should say that this weekend has been very busy, um, and I I don't mind telling you, but. Uh, Yesterday we had a little bit of a gathering um, from some very close friends and family um, in a wonderful pub nearby, quite a small affair, um, because someone in this household is having a birthday tomorrow, um, and some might say it's a bit of a significant birthday. <sighs> um, yes, anyway, let's move on from that. So, commiserations, I think.
So there are three chorales back to back, um, culminating in that one. So that's BWV 661. The first one is a beautiful, uh, very slow chorale on a sort of a, mut a mutation solo stop. The second one is more like a trio movement, um, which is very fiddly to play actually in places. And then the third one is that one. All wonderful, all very different, very contrasting. All, of course, on BIS. And I think, in fact, somebody please correct me, Jeremiah Stevenson, who played live on BIS last Christmas, last uh, December, I've got a feeling he played all three of them. Maybe someone might like to check. Hmm. Anyway, if he didn't, I think he played, at the very least, he played one. I think he played all three. He may have uh, definitely played the, the trio Supra, which is a hard one. Um, but if he, if he didn't, I did. They're on there somewhere on BIS. So, thank you very much, Bill, for requesting Nuncom. Um, then I went into the Bach version there. Right, where are we up to? So, um, remind me, um, Mr. Producer Man, the hearts are ones I've got left to do, is that right? Because I've done uh, Wake Awake. Hearts mean you haven't played them yet. Oh, ah, well I've done Kathleen, Kathleen Lewis's Wake Awake, Wake It Auf. I've done that one, so the heart can disappear. Oh. Um, so it's I can't creator. take the heart off. I, 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 no, well, presumably the only person who put it on. Exactly, yeah, yeah that's right. Um, I need to play that one, Creator of the Stars of Night. NEH1. Hello, by the way. Hello, everybody. Happy Advent to you all. Do you say happy, happy Advent? Well, I don't, I'm say saying season's it. greetings. We're saying it say. now, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I am. Ameri uh, have, you, have you noticed the, the decoration in the room? I have. There's a, there's a, there's a Father Christmas that keeps popping his head around the corner. Oh. And I've told them that I've had a word with that Father Christmas and what he's doing, there he is, look. He's, having, he's keeping an eye on the yeah. chats to make sure that everyone's behaving themselves. Oh, in, in, the, in the chair? The Father Chat. Christmas in the chair? No, well, there's one over there as well. Yeah, that, yeah. That, was our, that was Hugo's friend Mason's, but he left it. Mason's very kindly said Hugo can have it. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo's got a new, a new present. So, creator of the um, stars of night, thy people's everlasting light. O oh, Jesus, you, saviour oh, of us all, regard thy servants when they call. Um, to the tune, well, it's plain chant, but in, in, the, in the age it's called Conditor Alme. And more importantly, it has been requested by Thomas Maronta. So, thank you very much, Thomas, for requesting this wonderful bit of plain song. So let's, let's oh, the star twiddles round on the on the tree. Woof! There it goes. Don't do things by halves, you know. No. As as I said, it's very windy. It's well, it, uh, well, it's not windy. It's raining, but it's very windy here at BIS with that with that, with that tree going like that. And there's a Christmas cat on the um, tip jar. Did you tell them about Bobby in Keep the video in. this week? Anyone who may not have seen the video. I haven't mentioned uh, Bobby the, oh. yet. We, were, we recorded some Bach this week for, for an upload which came on in the week. Maybe you've seen it. And that's the one. And mm -hmm. I was singing and Richard mm -hmm. was playing and I was sat here on the bench and Bobby jumped up oh. for a cuddle and I said to Richard, oh, that would be nice, let's do a take now. And Richard said, no, this isn't a Bobby video. And I said, oh, yes, it is. Everyone likes to see Bobby. And sure enough, it ended up being a Bobby video. Bobs. That's right, isn't it, Bobs? If, if somebody wants to sponsor that, we can actually do that later. You could play the, um, the, the, the tune and the, on the trumpet, and I'll play the... As Bill part. has pointed out, Bobby did jump down in the middle of my solo. Everyone is a critic, including Bobby.
It is a noise adjustment, um, <laughs> but I think it's particularly effective on the uh, on the swell oboe. Actually, I, I, well, I used. Listen um, to that. What? What's the matter with it? That tremulant. Well, that's, that sounds exactly as it does in the building. I'm sure it does. I used it tonight, actually. I wouldn't expect anything less from your sample set. It sounds, it is that, it's that wobbly. <laughs> I think that sounds, that sounds wonderful. Particularly on, isn't that, isn't that really? That's a bit wild. It's, I think it's a gorgeous tremolent. I think it works really nicely. It's, it's um, an original 1850s tremulant. Well, that's pretty so cool, that's, isn't um, it? I think it is, Even anyway. older than you, Richard. Well, they don't, look, shush, they, don't, they, they, they all think I'm 21. We need Johnny Bombard. Well, he's 22. Yeah, but we need him to, play, to do you another improv. What's that got to do with tremulants? Because it's, it's your birthday, so it nearly. OK. <laughs> um, oh, dear. Come thou, redeemer of the earth. That's a good tune. Thank you very much, Eileen, for requesting that. Let's have a look. I thought you'd played that. I haven't played it yet, no. Yeah. I did it. I played it at Romsey. Uh, oh, I've lost a, um, lost oh, a token. Nali, you're there. soaking wet. Oh, why is that? I don't know. She's just come in soaking wet. Come on, Nala. Come on, find a towel. Yes. Puer uh, nobis nascitor. That's Cheetor, perhaps, uh, for Eileen Kremlin, who requested this. Come thou, Redeemer of the earth, and manifest thy virgin birth. Let every age adorning, adoring form such birth befits the God of all. And we'll omit verses 3, 4, and 5. So we'll have verses 1, 2, 6, 7, and 8. That is still, that is still quite enough. I was always told at Winchester, when I played there, they used to do this. At a, a critical moment in the Advent carol procession, it was when the choir were processing uh, from the east to the west, so walking back down the nave towards the back of the church. And I was always told to play it very slowly, uh, very much three in a bar, but I think I'd, I felt like it was a little bit too slow, if I'm honest. So I'm going to play it at a. She is wet, you're right. I play it at a more normal speed. Um, oh, thanks, good chappy. <laughs> For for Eileen, um, that's right. I am thirty. I am I am definitely at least thirty years old.
12th June. So thank you very much for requesting it. Good Chappie says it's the new 30. Yes, it is indeed the new 30. Robert Salarski says quite simply just tuning, uh, just turning it in, just turning in to bed. Too soon to go to bed, Robert. I know what time it is over there. It's not time to go to bed. You must be mis just tuning in. Well, it's very well, very good to have you, and thank you very much for your generosity. Uh, uh, Sean Pierce, thank you very much for your generosity as well. Uh, oh, Bill. Oh, Bill, Bill has sponsored our back of town. So we'll have to play and that How's that going on. to work? Oh, well, is how it, does it work when we do other Nala stuff? Is Nala going to play the solo? Nala's feeling a bit no, left you, out. You've never asked that before. You've never said, how's that going to work? You, you're the one who always says, let's do it. And I'm the one who says, how can that possibly work? And then, the, and then it proceeds not to work. <laughs> oh, the only one that didn't work spectacularly was our Vivats. Because you failed to read the score correctly. Yeah, but that's because they were in the wrong order. They, weren't, they, weren't, they didn't do what I expected them to do. So that wasn't my fault. Look, we're making good progress Bye, here. Bye, that Regina, Camilla. Don't sing it now. Look, you got it all wrong, you look, did. Kathleen, Kathleen Smith has requested Hail to the Lord's Anointed. Elegant, that's a good Elecum, tune. In common praise, 100 and 7. Let's have a look at that one. Where's my CP? There it is. Uh, 157, in here. Don't forget, if anyone wants to listen to the O Antiphons, sung by me, <laughs> Accompanied by Richard. That was a, that was a, They're that available was a on Beauty and Sound. Well, it's Advent, isn't it? That it's the season plug. for O antiphons. Yeah, they are available. Uh, yeah, they're doing well, actually. Quite Other antiphons are available. Some really nice comments on that video, actually. Some really nice yeah, comments. So it's good. The Bobby. The de what? The Bobby Hang antiphons. Hail just... to the Lord's anointed. Six verses um, to the tune. Could you get the uh, words to Hail to the Lord's anointed for me, please? Uh, to the tune, which has a bit of a, an Easter uh, connotation to it. There's Elecum. That one. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, our favourite Uncle Rawson has done something rather cheeky with this one. So let's have a look at that one. Could you get me the um, the Book of Rawson cheeky? Five verses. The, the Book of Rawson cheeky, cheeky things. Where is it? It's in, in the cheeky in the cupboard. Organ. With okay. the mouse. Did you tell them about the mouse? No, I haven't told them about the mouse. There's some things I don't tell them. There's some things I do tell them. We had mouse a mouse. We had a resident mouse this week. Well, what's to say? It's not present tense. <laughs> we don't quite know. We don't quite know.
<laughs> I think Andy has just won the prize for the coolest emojis. Sort of given a well, rock on. Huh. <laughs> Cheers, Andy. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, really thirsty. Really, really thirsty. Oh, the door's just closed. Thank you very much um, uh, uh, for requesting that those words, hail to the Lord's anointed, to the uh, to the Easter tune. Yes, it is the Easter tune, isn't it? It's like saying, you know, this tune is... Um, it's like saying that isn't an Easter tune. It definitely is an Easter tune. Definitely Easter tune. different words. So anyway, thank you very much uh, Kathleen for requesting it. John Denning, let's go up to uh, John Denning next. Um, so I think I need to go into my email for this one because it has been sent to my inbox. An email has literally flooded into the inbox and hopefully it should be sitting at the top from James Palmer there it is. Is that the right one? There's a voice in the wilderness crying. A call from the ways untrod. Prepare in the desert a highway. A highway for our God. The valleys shall be exalted. The lofty hills brought low. Make straight all the crooked places where the Lord our God may go. There's a church in this country, which I know quite well, because it's where I used to sing as a chorister, um, nicknamed the Crooked Spire. And it, it's not ironic, it's not, it's not like Little John. It's called Little John because he's really massive. It's the, called the Crooked Spire because it is really crooked. It bends like that. Um, so I think this hymn might be particularly uh, relevant uh, for that church. Maybe we should give it to them to sing because it might make straight all the crooked places. <laughs> anyway, so the tune here is called Hereford, but it's not the Hereford that we are thinking of. It's not, um, oh, thou who came us from above. No, it's a different, very, a very different tune indeed here. So let's solo it out on the, um, the mutation stops to begin with, and let's um, sort of get used to it first, and then we'll go, we'll go from there. All right, let's have a go at this one.
What a, a beautiful tune by Francis Donaldson Hines. And it, it's, it, it confusingly, I think this tune might be called Hereford. But there is another tune which we all know called Hereford. Problem is that's such a beautiful tune and well known that I think this one might also be called Heinz, as in H E I N S, if you want to find it. So, uh, so it's sort of look. That's what I'm. That's what I'm working with. Heinz, uh, Hereford, and Heinz. So take your pick. But I know either way, what I, what I played was a beautiful tune. So thank you very much for requesting it. Okay, we've got some more to get through. Um, let's, oh, let's up the tempo um, into one from Ben Wallace. I'm back. Oh, we didn't, we didn't even need to go on, to be uh... honest. We did, we noticed, because it suddenly went quiet in here. It suddenly went quiet and well behaved. Uh, Ben's uh, hymn, Let's On Mortal Flesh Keep Silence, to the tune Picardy, is, I think, one of my favourite hymns. We've had this many times. And you like the, the moody hymns, don't you, pro Richard? The problem is with this one is it's often sung during the communion. And it's not a communion hymn for me because I really like to work with the words here, particularly in the final verse. Well, in verses three, you know, towards the end of the verse, you have that the powers of hell may vanish. That's fair enough. Uh, as a darkness clears away. Then you have like, at his feet, the six winged seraph. So this is bright angelic stuff. Cherubim with sleepless eye, veil their faces to the presence. As with ceaseless voices they cry, you know what the words are, Alleluia, Lord Most High. So I feel a little bit, I feel like a, I feel sorry for the people who are communicating during the communion when I'm having to sort of word paint this. So I'll start it quietly and then hope that by the time I've got to verse four, they've all cleared off, which generally they have. So let's imagine that we're doing that now. So let's start with a quieter sound and then we'll assume the communion has finished. <laughs>
really, really wished. <laughs> Philip, I was actually just going to say something similar actually to what you've just written. Uh, I really, really wish that the, um, the Romsey Abbey pipe organ in Romsey Abbey had everything that I have here. So as most of you will know, there are some stops that I've added um, by extension in the sample set in the extended edition. For example, this. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist adding a, um, a 32 foot reed. Um, so I just think that building would really take it. It really would, it's a huge building. And the organ sometimes doesn't really feel like it's got enough, enough, you know, um, get up and go. I, I really wish that I could use that in the, in the building. It has got one of these which those of you who have subwoofers will certainly hear and feel that. Um, but those of you who are listening on an iPhone or laptop speakers, no chance. Our subwoofer in the room has Christmas decorations all over it at the moment. I don't know if there's rattling in here. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Someone called NEDH18 has requested, oh, come all you faithful, we're going to have that one. Or should we save that one for the Christmassy ones? I think we should save it. I think we should save that one too. Was it, was it sponsored or was it just requested? Let me have a look at the um, over on the, on the left. Well, they're going to hear it, aren't they? I think, um, I think we should... Oh no, any did, did sponsor it actually. So we should. So what we'll do is we'll change... We'll, I won't give you the final verse. How's that? I'll tease them. And I won't give you the final verse. But we'll have up to verse... Is it verse six? You know the ba ba da ba da ba da da ba da ba da ba 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 ba. We'll have that one, uh, but we won't have "Yea, Lord, we greet thee." We'll save that for the Christmas ones. Fair deal. Thanks. Okay, so let's have verses one, two, three, and six. One, two, three, and six. If you're singing at home with your carols for choirs or whatever hymn books you've got, I'm sure. Every hymn book has this in it. Adeste fideles, O come all ye faithful.
you really want to watch an over the top rendition of that, I really, really urge you to tune in to, I think most of you would have seen it already because it's doing fairly well, tune into the recent Advent and Christmas compilation uh, video that I did from Blackburn Cathedral and the rendition of this particular carol features John Hosking and me playing it sat right here as a duet. Four hands, sometimes five hands, pulling out stops and doing all sorts of things. It's one of the most exciting things we've done. Um, it's brilliant to watch, so go and check it out. Um, the chat went wild while you were playing that, so it was much appreciated, I think, um, yeah. across the, uh, the I know, world's it's a wide bit, web. It's a little bit premature, but I think the, the the agreement was I wouldn't give the final verse. We'll save that um, until it's Christmas. Apparently, PC. it was one of Carmen Foster's favourites as well. So I, says Bill. So that's I nice, saw that. Nice to know. I saw that. Yeah, that's cool. I remember in the early days. I think it was Katie, Katie Dixon, who's in South Africa. The King of she, Glory. In 2020, she requested it in the middle of summer, and we played it because everyone was stuck inside. Who's <laughs> that? Was, and Katie Dixon from South Africa. She requested it in, I don't know, July or something, and everyone was stuck inside, locked down. And, and it, I remember the chat went absolutely wild. I think people just needed, when, in 2020, when they couldn't go out of the house, everyone needed a dose of Christmas. Do you remember that? Probably not. I pro uh, yeah, I've done a lot. I'm just looking at this request from Daniel Kabaki. How do I play this, sorry? I don't know. It's just, it's just a single melody. I don't um, oh. I'm gonna play it for you a few times. I'll, I'll, I'll um, just—it's not really an organ. It's not really a virtual church organ thing. But let's see what we can do with it. So it's the King of Glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift your voices, and then who is? Uh, the King of Glory, how shall we call him? The King him? of Glory. Uh, he is Emmanuel, the promised of all ages. Yeah, but that, it's not that version. It's actually no, quite I know. A, it's a very <laughs> different fire. version. Um, yeah, I don't, it's a bit of an odd arrangement. A couple of verses, hang on. A couple of verses, just for you. Just, just a very quick introduction to that because it doesn't really work on the organ. I, I don't think I have the right, the right version in front of me here because all I have is the melody, so I don't know what on earth to do with it. It's not my experience. It's not my background. It's an upbringing, so I, I don't know how to make that sound as good as it could. So I, I feel like I'm doing it an injustice uh, by playing it. So Marty M though has requested something that I do know. Now I'm pretty sure that I can play it. The beautiful Est ist ein Ross, Lo how a rose um, is blooming uh, in the ELW272. Thank you very much, James, for putting that. 272 in here. Um, That's the wonderful tune by Pretorius, I think, isn't it? 
Uh, sorry, it's a, it's, it has been arranged by Praetorius, by Michael Praetorius. Est, East, I, not Ross. Gorgeous tune. It's just very delicate. So it doesn't want to have much done to it at all. So let's, um, yeah, let's have this very... I'll, I'll give you some warning here. So for the next four minutes, three, four minutes, you can turn up your speakers. I won't, I won't play this loud. It'll be very delicate and very quiet. So you can just crank it up to 11. Beautiful, that one. So someone's asking about organ shoes. I do use, um, as Bill has correctly said, They're dancing super shoes. Super dance. They are dance. They are. They're well, ballroom practice shoes, aren't they? They're from a dancing shoe uh, company. They're, they're not, ballroom, aren't they? I think they're ballroom practice shoes. I think, so. I, I think shoes. they're called, yeah, I think that's what they're called. Um, I, and I bought them because they just, they just looked pretty... Comfy. Yeah, yeah, they just look, they look, I like the way they looked. They just looked a bit more, they look different to what you might normally see on, on an organist's foot. Um, a bit more informal, I guess, a bit more trainer-like. A bit dark down there, but you, yeah, so they are really comfortable, really comfortable. Um, so I'd recommend anyone who's in the market for a, an organ shoe, 
check this out. They're, they're an English company, but they ship, they ship around the world. So Lakeside, he, Richard used to have a pair. Richard used to have a pair of organ masters, but they and got completely apart. worn out after many, many years of use. I wanted to try something new, so I, I just I tried these, and they, I don't regret it for one moment. Let's go into a request now, which is coming from um, Robert. Thatcher Nelson, what sample set is this, Richard? What's my, my own sample set there, Thatcher. Romsey Abbey, um, which actually, whilst you're, whilst I'm just getting the next hymn ready, can I, can you get the next hymn ready? Oh, it's on the desk. That's, that's efficient. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is, in fact, no, I can't do it. I can't show you because it's not ready. Your big update. Yeah, well, I'm using it now as I'm using a version two. Have you had um, any glitches? Um, no, not yet. No. That's good. If I put it onto this screen. Then my, my voice goes off, which is annoying. Uh, let me just quickly copy that and then paste you into, into the Hatberg screen. Hello, there you are. Right, so this is a new screen. So this is uh, the landscape screen of this stop. So anyone who has this sample set will know that this is a new screen. Um, you used to have those, the left and right, but now you have uh, these. Oops, sorry about that. So that all of these stops are now the original sort of Romsey stops. Um, so anyone who has the organ already will know how exciting that is. Anyone who doesn't have the organ is like, well, what's that about? But just, just take my word for it when I say that that's quite a big deal. Um, so is anybody, by the way, is anybody in the chat who's going to buy the sample set for Christmas? Because that would make me really, really happy if, if somebody bought it for Christmas. Um, there might even be a sort of a deal going on, by the way. So keep, stay tuned for that. Um, I, love it when, I love it when people buy this organ because it's, it's my baby. Uh, it, it makes me so proud that people are playing it, genuinely proud that people are playing it around the world. Um, has, has, anybody, has anybody discovered the, um, the Easter egg? By the way, listen to this. Sean, it's free. It's entirely free. Those are the Romsey Abbey bells. They are in the sample set. And you can play those bells. We need to find it's hidden. So you have to look around the console, um, uh, this, this, the interface, and find um, the bell stop. <laughs> so those are the real bells of Bromsey Abbey. They're gorgeous bells. And actually, I've got it just so um, that that is the sort of the volume when you're when you're in the abbey at the console, and the bells are ringing in the tower. That's what they sound like in the abbey itself. I think it's so you have the ambience of the abbey, which you, you hear there, you hear that click, and then you have the bells as well. It's like being in the real building, and then all the clicks. It's just like, yeah, I, 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 that is pretty good. I think I'm, I'm, I'm really that, proud of that. I'm that really barker, proud of all that. Your barker, what's it? I'm just proud of the whole thing. I love it. I'm dead chuffed. I'm chuffed a bit with it. Anyway, let's go on. Uh, oh, yes, Robert Slotty. There's a song in the air, there's a star in the sky, there's a, mother's, there's a mother's deep prayer and a baby's low cry, and the star rains its fire while, it's, while the beautiful sing for the manger of Bethlehem cradles a king. This one looks like quite a jolly one, I, I dare say. So let's try the great trumpet, which again is a beautiful stop. <laughs> An original Walker 1950s stop, which is pretty exciting in the organ world. Um, and let's just have a bit of fun with this because it looks like it's a quite a jolly one. So, and Robert's a jolly fellow, so let's make it as exciting and as happy for our good friend Robert.
someone said. Where's my mouse gone? Where's my mouse gone? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ben. It was Ben who said, this is one of my favourite carols. Well, there you go. That, that's why I love playing these um, hymns, because there's always somebody who, who, says, who says that. He says, this is my favourite. Um, so, Ben, thank you for saying that. And, of course, Robert, thank you for, request, uh, for sponsoring uh, that to him. The carol, I suppose. Uh, Jenny Allen says, this is an oldie, a tad different. Um, who else is there? Uh, Brendan Nolan says, Richard, looking to purchase Romsey Abbey, please do, please do, please do, uh, for my church's Hauptwerk setup. You won't regret it. You will not regret it um, <laughs> around Christmas. You will make a couple thousand in the congregation very happy. You will make me very happy, Brendan, if you purchase it. And uh, I don't know whether I can do it. Can I do this? Can I do this? Brendan, here's um, something, to t something to convince you to buy it. Okay, so what I can do is I can turn down. So with a lot of organs, you cannot do this. So basically, if you think about putting an organ and the, the recorded echo, the acoustic, in your own building with its own acoustic and echo, you have two echoes going on at the same time and you get something called like booming and phasing and all sorts of really horrible things going on. But what I did with this organ, and it's quite rare to find this, is can you hear how dry this is? You can hear the, the, the trail of the acoustic right at the very end, but the sound, the audio of the pipes, is so close. It sounds like you're basically inside the organ case, which is what you want if you're putting an organ in a church because you want to have a really dry sound like this. Because in your own building, in your own acoustic, it will sound really, really clear and it will let your own acoustic all of the work. And He's just said he has an issue with the wetness of Hereford in the church's acoustic. Exactly, so you can turn it all off here. So full organ on, on that sort of ridiculous uh, dry sounding sound sounds rubbish. Um, let me mute my microphone. But let me tell you, in a building, that will sound like the real organ at Romsey Abbey, I promise. So, yeah, if that hasn't tempted you to buy it, then I'm sorry. Please do buy it, though. Make me very happy. And it means I can buy Carolina present as well. Um, other sample sets are available. No, they're not. Just not be no BIS ones. No other sample sets are available. None. <laughs> no, they've all gone. It's just, just BIS, Romsey Abbey. Anyway, come on, we've got a few more to go. Before I, Crack on, otherwise you'll before, be playing till your birthday at this rate. Before I expire, I know. Knowing you, you'll, you'll carry on playing till the clock ticks over here in the UK. I, I don't know who, whose birthday you're talking about, it's not my birthday. Oh, is it not? <laughs> no. Knowing birthday you, I know what you're like, you're just going to keep playing and playing and playing. I, I can't, because my eyes are hurting already, I know, so I can't I keep I know, but it. the, way, the way it's going... I, I need, I, I'm looking at these hearts and this chat, I'm confused now. Uh, what's this one? I don't know who I don't know that one there. Can't I don't can't see find that. So Benjamin um, Yao sent one in. Oh Benjamin Yao, we'll definitely have Benjamin Yao. Benjamin Yao is one of our um all time uh, heritage. So it listeners. should be in your email, PDF yeah, email. That, I like that when that's organised like that. Oh it's two pages, so I need to scroll a little bit. Oh dear. Uh, so open it up in um four score. Other apps are definitely available. Um so I can do the old mouth movements to turn the pages. There it is. So Benjamin Yao has requested live. Uh, it's maybe at morn when the day is awaking, when sunlight through darkness and shadow is breaking. We have had this before, that Jesus will come in the fullness of glory to receive from the world his, to receive from the world his own. And the refrain is, O Lord Jesus, 
How long, how long ere we shout the glad song? Christ returneth, hallelujah, amen. This one looks like a jolly one, so let's make it as jolly as possible. I'd love to record the um, organ of Westminster Abbey, Josh. That would be a dream. That oh, really I would. think Daniel Kubaki suggested Westminster Cathedral, actually, the Willis. Well, both good. Unless I, uh, unless I misread. The, the Westminster Cathedral is a Willis three. Well, I said it's one of our finest organs, Overseen isn't it? Overseen by Marcel Dupre. He was the um, organ, organ advisor. Anyway, let's go into this one. Um, Inexor says, joyful but not staccato. Sorry, I realised that we're all we're all sitting in the swell box at the minute. I just need to definitely not have it like that. That sounds a bit ridiculous. There we go. Back into the um, into the nave of the wonderful Romsey Abbey.
we go. Hallelujah, 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 amen. Good refrain. We've had that one before, it does sound very familiar. Okay, so um, Glenn Schneider has requested um, that we have still, 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 or schlaf, schlaf, schlaf. Where is it? There it is. Very beautiful, quiet. This is like arrival to Silent Night or Away in a Manger. This is a sort of a almost like a, um, a lullaby. Only two verses. So still, still, still. He sleeps this night so chill. The virgin's tender arms enfolding. Warm and safe, the child are holding. Still, still, still. He sleeps this night so chill. So it's actually a little bit forward thinking um, to Christmas. But let's imagine that um, Mary um, and the midwives um, in Bethlehem. The midwives. Uh, <laughs> I don't think Mary had any midwives. And the local farmers are all sort I think of singing about. She just had the local ox <laughs> yeah. to help her out. So still, still, still. He sleeps this night so chill. Let's imagine they're saying, he, "It's going to be uh, cold." He'll and hopefully he'll, he'll he will sleep through the cold night. Fingers crossed. Let's imagine. Let's imagine it's sort of a foresight rather than. You know, present tense, future tense, let's imagine. And let's have a go with it. Lovely, isn't it? Very short, but very beautiful. And then I think we have one more request to get through, which comes in from Paul. Um, and it's make me a channel of your peace. Not an Advent hymn, I don't think, but relevant for, I think, a, 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 a mother in late, or a, a, a future mother who's about to go into labour. Um, because... Um, you want to sort of think about meditation, mindfulness, you know, you know, um, they might have been talking about that sort of thing back then. You know, they would have been doing the breathing exercises and all of that sort of thing. It was a normal labour, you know, like just like, hasn't changed, labour hasn't changed. Evolution hasn't changed in 2,000 years. We would have gone through all of that sort of thing that we were going through. So I wonder how long Mary, does anyone know how long Mary's labour was? I reckon it was pretty speedy. I think it would have been if it's... If she had the hand of God. Well, exactly. So it would have been It was smooth, like yeah. Did she do it in a, a birthing pool? I she did it in a stable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she had straw. Well, I suppose that would have... It's better than sort of having it in, the, in a carriage, in a horse and carriage, bouncing around. 
At least it was fairly <laughs> soft. And they would have probably had a fire to keep it warm as well. <laughs> So, Rich is revealing his expert. Um, I'm just imagining it, really. E expert um, you know, now experience of labour. <laughs> well, I've been through it twice. <laughs> yeah. We've done it. So, all the parents who, who are watching, who've been through it, who've been through labour, just can you imagine what it would have been like back then, 2,000 years ago. Just a normal sort of labour going on, but a rather special one at <laughs> that. Uh, I, just, I just wonder what it was, how it, you know, how it was different, what, what happened. Yeah, Doug's got it right. So, it was divine. No, well, exactly. It, it, it literally was, wasn't it? it? But in what way? It's just <laughs> completely no, zen. Nala, you're wet again. And so the reason I got onto that is because Paul's request is make me a channel of your peace. So I, what, I, what I mean is, was it, was it a peaceful labour? You know, was it peaceful and all sort of smooth? I'm sure that it was. Well, we all know it, it, were, it, was, it all had a happy ending. <laughs> that part of the story, at least, anyway. Um, anyway, make me a channel of your peace before we get <laughs> down there. Rich is avenues. enjoying reminiscing about his, his experiences in labour, I can tell. Well, I, I, people, I think people don't always talk frankly about the Bible. People like to uh, just really Nala. focus on you know, the, the teachings and the oh. stories Nala. and the fables. And, you know, but actually, what I like to imagine is the sort of behind the scenes of what was going on day to day. Um, and just, you know, imagining, you know, um, like Bach, for example, imagine him, imagine him being a father uh, of, of all those children and <laughs> having to go through the grievance of them not all surviving, you know, it's terrible. And he can, he can feel that in some of his, his some of his music. Um, we didn't have any friendly cows with Charlotte, but we did have Nala. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tim, well, they, they would have had air, I suppose, well, gas and air. I don't Definitely know. not. Definitely not. Just so, just so we're absolutely clear, we're not making any fun of anything at all. I'm just imagining the sort of the human side of it. So, Paul, this is for you. The final uh, request, I think, tonight is make me a channel of your piece. I think a nice way to sort of wind down the, um, the Advent, uh, Advent theme. Okay, so let's end on a quiet note. And then Bill has sponsored the voluntary tonight, so we'll have that in a moment.
thank you everyone, by the way, for being uh, so generous tonight with your donations. We've had a good number of people in tonight. It's been averaging um, well over 300 uh, for tonight. Uh, in the uh, uh, 300 people watching live, which is a really wonderful thing. Thank you for being so generous with your donations. Um, it is my birthday tomorrow, and I am reaching um, a new decade. Um, yeah, I am turning 20 tomorrow. And, um, I'll take I'll take your donations tonight as a, a Christmas present. A Christmas birthday, present. Birthday present. Uh, and I, I really do appreciate it. You never know. I might take the lady out. At some point, and uh, buy her a buy her a starter. We're going out tomorrow, or is it, is it top secret? They, they um, yeah, we are. They um, are have we? you told them about your organ themed birthday cake? I do. We, do you want to get the stop whilst I play this? Oh yeah, I could do. It's got it's got chocolate buttercream all I'll, over it I'll, though. I'll play Silent Night, and it's coming from uh, Daniel um, Nizek. Is that a Silent K of Nizek? Oh. Um, silent night, um, holy night, heaven is near, earth is bright. You know the words to this. Still unarched. Beautiful, um, beautiful, one of the most beautiful Christmas hymns, Christmas carols. There he is. So again, quiet way to sort of send, send us out into, into the world, into the, um, into the week. It's got a bit smudged.
go. Really beautiful. Nice Matt, way to end tonight's virtual church, I think. Matt Leach, um, it's not quite Richard's birthday, but it will be in an hour's time here 50, in the UK. 53 minutes. Yeah. He's oh. turning 40, folks. Oh, Here it is. Sorry, oh, it's got remnants of chocolate secret. buttercream all over it. That was a top secret. So Richard had a, a large birthday cake yesterday, which had well, this on the top of it. Well, Look at it. Marvellous. Made of sugar. A large appetite, haven't I? Look at that. Look at that. A Richard 40. I could put it into one of here. <laughs> Careful. No, it, doesn't, it doesn't go, does it? It doesn't go. What, what pitch would that be? A 40-foot oh. a, a forty foot stop. Anyone clever enough to work it out? I can't, I can't Jerry, do Jerry reckons he and you could make one together for your... No! Oh, what? Oh, are you going to eat it? Well, what are you going to do with it? I don't know. Yeah, of course you're going to eat it. Go on then. Well, I might have a nibble. This is the first time I've ever eaten an organ stop live <laughs> on the... I think this is the first time anyone has ever eaten an organ stop live on the internet. Brian says about 12 hertz. Any good? Just sugar. Tastes stoppy. Stoppy. Mmm. Stoppy. stoppy. Is it just pure sugar? Uh, yeah, I think it's sugar paste. That's what she made it <laughs> out of, I think. eating pure sugar right now. Do you want some pure sugar? No, I'll pass, thanks. I think Nala. No, don't give it, no, don't give it to Nala. No, no, Nala's not having any sugar. I think, we, I think we should sing. Everyone's ready to sing. Ready? Right, should we have a go at this? No. So do you... oh, oh, this? Yes, this is what Bill sponsored. Happy no. birthday to you. Stop it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Richard. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> you are such a tyke. <laughs> That's why I say to Hugo sometimes, but... I don't like... Where does he get itself? Where did he get Celebrating, it Celebrating, commiserating my birthday. Right, come on, let's go on to um, this. So this is... Um, an, an arrangement that I've done. Oh, Nala. Back into serious mode now. An arrangement that I've done on. Nala's ready to play, look. Fark it auf, Ruf uns die Stimme. Um, you all know the tune, the counter melody. And the tune is. Where are you going over there? Where are you going to go for the tune? Oh, I haven't set it up. Um, there. So if you play on the grate. So which so one's Caroline the great? And I performed. Do you know which one the great is? That big one. We yeah. performed this on Friday, uh, so she sang it rather nicely. Yeah. So if you haven't watched it yet, it's you'll see it. It's a uh, picture of us both and, and Bobby. Bobby as well. Um, so go and check it out. It, it actually it sounds rather nice. So that would, yeah, this had a, quite a few views, but I'd appreciate you going and watching it as well. And if you want to go and watch it, leave me a comment on that video so I know that you have watched it. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, so should we have a go? You can't play this while it's holding a cat. Yes, so you need to play it here. I'm going to be playing on these two manuals, okay? Okay. So we've had a great virtual church tonight. Thank you very oh, much for joining us. wet. Look, she's so wet. Covered in, in, the words, in the words of Simon Mayo, will you shut your face? <laughs> Had a great VC uh, tonight. Thank you very much for joining us um, for the Advent uh, Virtual Church. Um, we'll be back next week for Virtual Church. I think we'll be back next week. Um, and then we'll be getting, the nearer gets Christmas, the more Christmassy we'll be getting as well. I think the next Sunday actually might be something very special, providing we can get it to work in terms of, in terms of timing. Stay tuned on BIS for something potentially very special. <laughs> Anyway, let's have a go at this, uh, a new arrangement that I've done of this uh, Fuck It by Bach.
So that's available to buy on the BIS shop, beautyandsound.co.uk, scored for solo voice. Uh, it could be a male, female, it could be a, a choir singing in unison. In fact, I, I think it would be, probably be most effective sung by a uh, male attendant basses, perhaps. I don't know, it might be, it, it works with Caroline singing it. But that's the beauty of it, you can, it, it, it can be sung by anyone, really. And I've added the organ part, but with um, continuo realization. Um, and I, I was playing the original uh, version at Romsey tonight. And I just thought, gosh, it sounds so empty and bare. I think the, uh, the chords actually really add something to it. And the purring. And the purring, apparently. Um, so you, you've now got two renditions of that on BIS, one with Bobby, and then one with Nala. <laughs> Nala would like to say her. that she hung around for the whole thing, whereas Bobby left after the first verse. <laughs> She's got a very short attention span, though, as Bobby, hasn't she? Nala is, <laughs> would like us to know that she stayed for the whole thing. So uh, I, I would appreciate it if you did go and uh, watch that video on BIS. It is there, and I think you would, um, particularly you guys, you, 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 you virtual church crowd, you'd enjoy it. It's that one there. Go and give it a watch. It's only four minutes. Four minutes and nine seconds, and it's yeah, quite pleased with that one. So thank you very much for joining in tonight for Virtual Church. Um, thank you very much to Caroline, to James Palmer, to Josh Wilson as well, who's been doing some wonderful producing as always. Um, and thank you to everyone who has donated so generously uh, tonight. Uh, Virtual Church is going to be a regular thing here um, um, in sort of the Christmassy, sort of Adventy sort of theme from going forwards now. So. Um, you can expect lots of jollities and um, Christmas jumpers, Christmas hats coming your way. You can so, sign off for the last virtual church in your 30s. <laughs> thanks for that. So un <laughs> until the next decade, <laughs> I will say farewell. Cheerio. Cheerio. Goodbye. <laughs>